Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. The Chief Electoral Officer or CEO, Frederick Kharkongor, on Monday told reporters that the presidential election concluded with the participation of 56 MLAs out of 60 and the lone Rajya Sabha member, W.R. Karluki. The four MLAs who were not present were James Sangma and Sneo Bhalangdhar of the NPP and Marathon Sangma and Shitlang Pale of AITC. Prior to the start of voting, the ECI officials conducted a detailed inspection of the venue, the strong room and other arrangements. The Samagra Siksha Abhiyan SSA school teachers in Meghalaya under the umbrella of the Meghalaya SSA Schools Association, MSSASSA, announced that the teachers will continue with indefinite sit-in protests near the additional secretariat Shillong. The members of the MSSASA met with additional secretary DP Walang here on Monday. MSSASA President Aristotle Rambai said that the association is not satisfied with the state government's assurance given through the government's official for their salaries pending for six months from February to June. The Two Wheelers Taxi Association or TWTA on Monday met with the Commissioner and Secretary of Transport Department and requested to allow the two wheelers to ply as commercial vehicles until the department comes out with new permit. Maukon said that the state government should suitably amend Meghalaya Taxi Aggregator Operational Rules 2020 to allow rider-owned associations, SHGS, and cooperatives to operate such aggregator services with the support from the government. He added that the government should help the association through the startup brand to create aggregator gas which are responsive to the local conditions and for the welfare of the riders. Moving on, the Shillong Cantonment Board, SCB, on Monday evicted illegal settlers from its land at Yo Thamoba opposite the Kaat Building, Shillong. Around 30 to 35 houses and 10 shops at Kaat Godown, Thamoba, were evicted and demolished. The demolition drive took place despite stiff opposition from the residents who were evicted in the presence of the district magistrate and police personnel at around 10 a.m. on Monday. 13 people have died after a Maharashtra State Road Transport Corporation or MSRTC bus plunged into the Narmada River in Madhya Pradesh, Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan said on Monday, adding that five of the victims have been identified so far. The incident occurred on a bridge connecting Dhar and Khargon districts. The bus has been pulled out of the river while four teams of the National Disaster Response Force, NDRF, are still carrying out the rescue operation. Chauhan also announced that the state government will provide ex gratia of Rs 4 lakh to the family members of of each of the deceased person. A massive consignment of suspected opium worth Rs 2 crore was seized by the Government Railway Police or GRP on Monday from the Guwahati Railway Station. The police also arrested two men from Bihar in connection to the seizure. As per the GRP, the arrested persons were identified as Abhyas Kumar and Sunil Kumar. The GRP found 2.042 kgs of suspected opium from them. As per the police, the suspects were supposed to take the seized opium to Bihar from Dimapur. Kerala has registered India's second case of monkeypox, Health Minister Veena George said on Monday. A 31-year-old man who had arrived from Dubai and was under treatment at the Pariyaram Medical College Hospital at Kannur has turned positive for the disease. George said that the patient's condition is fine and he is under close medical observation. All those who came in close contact with him has been isolated. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Khublai Shibon, Mithela. 